Okay, we have here to another integral from MIT 2025, regular season 15. We have the integral of ln x over x all squared dx. Okay, it's kind of interesting because we're used to seeing this like without the square, right? With ln x over x, if we did a u substitution, u equals ln x, then our du value is going to be 1 over x dx. But it's not immediately clear if it's going to work the same way. I think what I want to do is kind of multiply it out, like write it, instead of writing it like this, write it like ln x times ln x. And maybe really to set up this du, let's write 1, because we're going to have, this is going to become x squared. So I'll leave 1x here, and then we'll bring another 1 over x this way. That way we've got our du right here. This is going to become u squared. What about the x? Well, let's just take this and solve for x. So just using the log properties, we can write this as x equal to e to the u. So then go ahead and substitute. We'll start with the numerator. That's going to be just u squared. This, now I'm going to take this and bring it into the numerator. So instead of having e to the u, what's going to happen? This becomes e minus u, and then all this is our du. But now this is not too bad. We can just do integration by parts on it. I'll do a quick di table over here and let's differentiate u squared because we can differentiate it all the way to zero so what's going to happen let's just differentiate this a bunch of times so it's going to be 2u for the first one second derivative is going to be just 2 third derivative zero integrate this three times we get minus e minus u do it again another minus pops up minus times minus is plus so we get an e minus u and then this one's going to be the same as this so then we're going to get our solution in u on the diagonals. Don't worry about this last part because we're, zero, we're zeroing out this integral. We've got a minus sign and everything, so what I'll do is let's factor out a minus e minus u. And then what's left is going to be just u squared plus 2u plus 2. And now we're about ready to back substitute. One thing, actually let's bring this into the denominator just to make it clear. So instead of writing e minus u, let's write it as all over e to the u, and we'll take our u value and back, back substitute, but we also have our e to the u equals x. So putting this all together for my final solution, we've got minus sign out front, then we're going to have natural log of x all squared plus 2, natural log of x plus 2, all over x, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you go, even for a kind of a simple problem, I don't remember ever doing this one before, so kind of interesting. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.